The IMAGE phase three study was a placebo controlled trial in lower risk MDS patients failing uh, ESA first line based uh, therapy and being red blood cell transfusion dependent. Um, the results of the clinical trial were positive in the, in the sense that emetostat made uh, actually the primary endpoint um, and was superior to uh, placebo. Um, and these study results actually are currently in press uh, in the Lancet and uh, I think are a very important step uh, towards a potential new treatment option for lower risk MDS patients. So there are two presentations uh, at the ASH uh, dealing with an updated results of, of the IMERGE uh, phase three trial, focusing um, first on uh, long-term responders. So patients who basically achieved a one-year transfusion independence rate, which is pretty amazing given that the majority of these patients actually also had high transfusion burden. The rate of one-year TI rate was 18%, um, and um, patients also had uh, a good tolerability of the drug, so especially neutropenia, thrombocytopenia actually um, went away or vanished um, over time, so the tolerability of the drug, especially when giving for a long time, was pretty good. There was also um, another analysis looking at predictive factors for response um, and uh, actually ring cytoplastic status, EPO level, but also molecular aberrations, including high-risk mutations, uh, had no impact on uh, on the response rate. So the bottom line message, again, uh, data were, t were taken from the phase three study. Um, they show that uh, the drug works independently of um, uh, prerequisites like biomarkers of patients. What was also interesting to observe was that the response was also correlated with cytogenetic, but also molecular responses, uh, meaning that patients um, with achieving a transfusion independence also had a significant decline of the mutational burden, for instance, of SF3B1. So suggesting that the drug has disease modifying activity. The drug actually um, and the data have been sent uh, to FDA and EMA and the results uh, and also the decision is pending uh, whether this uh, drug will be approved as a second line therapy for low risk MDS patients.